What's up, YouTubers? This big Wayne, Gorilla Wayne. I'm uh, uh, putting another video up about Philippines travel advisories. Travel advisory, October 5th, 2022. Exercise increased caution to the Philippines due to crime, terrorism, civil unrest, and kidnapping. Some areas have increased risk. You really have to read the entire advisory. Exercise increased caution to the Philippines due to crime, terrorism, civil unrest, and kidnapping. Some areas have increased risk. And to be fair to the Philippines, that happens over here too. The only thing is, if it happened over there, you shit, uh, that's going to mess up y'all, your vacation or your travel plans. But, uh, also, in, in uh, the Manila, Mindoro area, it's pretty safe. I felt real safe. Nobody bothered me. It's just way down south in uh, Mindanao, where they say it's a lot of trouble that I wouldn't, I wouldn't go down there. But in Manila, uh, I went to the Manila Mall. This was before the pandemic. Uh, they probably didn't pick this back up. The security rolling around with shotguns. Security rolling around with shotguns. They got chrome shotguns on, on their chest right in front of them. Ain't no terrorists coming around there to do Nathan. Uh, they sporting shotguns in the tourist areas. It was real safe. Ain't nobody bothered me. First time I went, I was scared as hell. Ain't nobody bothered me. I had a few sour grape looks from them Pinoys because I had me a little uh, tenderoni on my arm. But other than that, they want they you know. Other than that, it was pretty cool, you know. Second visit, I, everything, everything was cool. Ain't nobody gonna bother you out there. Maybe a few pickpockets. You got to worry about a few pickpockets, you know. Be careful. But I wouldn't worry about no terrorism, civil unrest, or kidnapping unless you're way down south. Mindanao, I wouldn't go out there. You have to try to Google something on, uh, look up something on YouTube about Mindanao, people who've been out there. Do not travel to the Sulu Archipelago, including the southern Sulu Sea, due to crime and uh, terrorism, civil unrest and kidnapping. Marawi City and Mindanao due to terrorism and civil unrest. Reconsider travel to other areas of Mindanao due to crime, terrorism, civil, civil unrest, and kidnapping. Country summary. Terrorists and armed groups continue plotting possible kidnappings, bombings, and other attacks in the Philippines. Terrorists and armed groups may attack with little or no warning, targeting tourist location, markets, shopping malls, and local government facilities. The Philippine government has declared a state of national emergency on account of lawless violence in Mindanao. Read the country information page for additional information on travel to the Philippines. Philippines is currently on the level two. Level two caution. But like I say, Manila, all areas of the Manila, you should, you, you'll be fine. In the Nao, you'll be fine. Cebu, you'll be fine. You ain't gonna get in no trouble like that. Uh, I ain't been to Mindanao, and I ain't going to Mindanao. But like I say, when I was in Manila, they hell they was they were sporting shotguns in Manila. Uh, I didn't see when I came back right after the pandemic was over. I didn't see no shotguns. 
but they got secure what the security's got guns. And everybody's real nice. Ain't nobody bothering me. It's really just a bit today or area. Quick facts. Your passport must be six months. You must have at least six months on your passport at time of entry. Required for travelers from countries with yellow fever. No visa required for... Uh, 30 days or less in the Philippines. While I'm here, I might as well review the entry and exit requirements from the Department of State website for you guys. Travel.state.gov, Department of State website. Let's see what it says. entry and exit requirements for the Philippines. Okay, folks, I'm trying to get it now. Entry and exit requirements. U.S. Embassy in the Philippines. Are U.S. citizens permitted to enter? Yes. April 17th, 2023, when this was updated. COVID-19 testing. Are either PCR or antigen tests available for U.S. citizens in the Philippines? Yes, PCR and antigen tests. Are test results liable, reliably available within one day? Yes. Please contact the testing facility for testing requirements and review the list of Philippine DOH accredited testing centers. In general, payment must be made in cash prior to testing. Costs vary depending on the test and medical facility and may be higher for test results within 24 hours. Oh, they ain't charging no more than uh, 3000 peso, $60, maybe a little bit more. Please work directly with your testing provider. If you require test results within a certain time frame, results are often sent via email or obtained through the medical facility's online patient form. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can pull up where I got my test on the way out. Uh, hell, it was reliable and quick. They got a testing facility. They got testing facilities. Uh, and Oreo Mindoro too, but on my way out when I was in Manila, see if I can locate the place that I went.
looking right now, folks. Uh, I'm not going to be, uh, I think this is it right here. I think I put a review in for them. Yeah, Philippine Airport Diagnostic. They got 24-hour RT-PCR testing. Cost me uh, 3,000 pesos. That was $60. That was during the pandemic. That was a year ago I went. Philippine Airport Diagnostic Laboratory in Manila. You drove up there in a cab. Uh, I found it kind of hard to schedule my appointment for the test with my phone on the on the Philippine Airport Diagnostic uh, website. So I took a cab up to up to the place and uh, you go through the little drive through and ask them to help you. You got to have somebody with a phone that's working. Your girlfriend have to have a phone. They'll register with your phone and then they'll take your test. And I gave them a $500 tip, you know, for good measure. Here's a, it says here they got a list of Philippine DOH accredited testing centers. You can check that out. Right here. You guys can, uh, I'm going to scroll through this here. There's quite a bit of them in Manila. I, I was spent most of my time in uh, Oriental Mindoro. Uh, they got them everywhere. You can pretty much get on Google Maps and uh, Google RT PCR testing centers. Right now, I'm looking for Oriental Mindoro. Oh, well. Let me try this docs.google.com and see what happens. Yeah. Here's the different places. guys can kind of look through this list if you see anything you can uh, screenshot it and 
and uh, Google Map them. While watching this video, Orient Mendoro. Maria Estella General Hospital. I was going to take my test there when I was in Orion Mindoro. If you're in Orion Mindoro, you can go there. They'll hook you up down there. Sure will. But I decided to go to Mint Manila, go to one of the fancy hotels for my last two days. Oh, that's some more. Or into Mindoro, Calipan City. You see, you know, you can look through this on my YouTube. Stop it video. You see something, screenshot it, and then uh, Google Map it. You know, and that's where you can go. They're all over Manila. Okay, we got that. Entry and exit requirements. Fully vaccinated travel travelers, pre-departure COVID testing is no longer required for fully vaccinated travelers, whether Filipino or foreign nationals, unvaccinated or partially vaccinated travelers. A laboratory-based rapid antigen negative test result within 24 hours prior to the date and time of departure from the country of origin is required for entry to the Philippines if you are unvaccinated or partially vaccinated. Fully vaccinated travelers are no longer required for full, is no longer required for fully vaccinated travelers. Pre-departure COVID testing is no longer required for fully vaccinated tra travelers. Additional requirements for foreign nationals. Valid passport for at least six months at the time of entry. Valid visa, if applicable. App, if, applicable. if you're going to be there less than 30 days, you don't need a, a visa. For those who are not entitled to a visa-free entry in the Philippines, as well as those with immigrant or non-immigrant status. For temporary visitors, valid on re return ticket. You need a round-trip ticket, six months passport and be there for less than 30 days and have a COVID for be fully vaccinated with a COVID-19 vaccine. Philippine Bureau of Immigration will be discontinuing the use of paper-based departure cards starting May 1st, 2023. Effective April 15, 2023, departing passengers may log in to the platform 72 hours prior and not later than three hours from the scheduled time of flight. The e-travel platform will be used for both arriving and departing passengers. The e-travel website may be accessed at etravel.gov.ph and it's free of charge. Returning to the United States from the Philippines on June 12th, 2022 at 12.01 a.m. 
EDT. The CDC rescinded its order requiring all airlines or other aircraft passengers to show negative COVID-19 test result or documentation of recovery from COVID-19 to board any aircraft destined to the United States from a foreign country. Of note, CDC's order requiring proof of vaccination for non-U.S. citizens, non-immigrants to travel to the United States is still in effect. So you still need proof of vaccination, but you don't need a COVID-19 test before leaving. Please visit the U.S. Embassy's COVID-19 and travel information page for information on the most current Philippine entry and exit regulations and procedures. COVID-19 and travel information page. Let's go to U.S. Embassy's COVID-19 travel and information page. Travelers between the United States and the Philippines traveling on a Philippine carrier. If you're on Philippine Airlines, a Philippine carrier, you will be required to wear a mask in the terminal and during flight durations. Travelers between the United States and the Philippines traveling on a Philippine carrier will be required to wear a mask in the terminal and for the duration of their flight is a negative COVID-19 test, RT-PCR, and a serology required for entry. Yes. So you need a negative COVID-19 test to enter the Philippines, but not to exit. Return to the United States, you don't need a negative COVID-19 test. But you need a COVID, you need a COVID-19 test to enter the Philippines, but not to leave. But you gotta have a COVID vaccine for both. If you don't have a COVID vaccine or you're partially vaccinated, a laboratory-based rapid antigen negative test result within 24 hours prior to the date and time of departure from the country of origin is required for entry into the Philippines. Ah, Republic of Philippines Interagency Task Force, Resolution Number Two, revised uh, October Fourth, Twenty Twenty Two. 
fully vaccinated individuals, pre-departure testing for fully vaccinated inbound travelers, whether Filipinos or foreign nationals, shall no longer be required. Pre-departure testing is no longer required for coming into the Philippines. All righty, folks, let me get off of this here stuff here. You go to the Department of State and find all this stuff I got for y'all right here. U.S. Embassy in the Philippines. All right, folks. Uh, I hope that helps somebody. Uh. Vaccinations required for travelers from countries with yellow fever. All right, folks. You guys want to check this out? You can check it out yourself. Travel.state.gov. Check out all this stuff. U.S. passports, international travel, U.S. visas. Everything. All right, y'all. Hell, I got to get ready for work. It's nice talking to y'all. Y'all like and subscribe. Help me pay some of these bills. I got a new Filipino wife. I'm trying to get over here. You know, I'm having to help her out. You ain't got to give me the dime, but YouTube give me a little taste of change. If you like and subscribe, that's all you got to do, hell. If you don't, if you barely like my videos, hell, if you think I'm ugly, I look like a gorilla, or whatever if you like and one of my video just like it and subscribe to it hell uh just like and subscribe and help a brother out you see what i'm saying i sure appreciate y'all i hope our creator in heaven bless everybody out there rebuke the demons around you i hope he rolls shotgun with you and i hope he rolls shotgun with me tonight I'll let y'all.